All right, guys, well, we actually got a mount. Hopefully, uh, this works out pretty good. See if, uh, see if the video turns out a little bit better. Uh, we are in Corbin, Kentucky. We just did our break and uh, got a bite to eat. And actually, we actually had to take some layers off. I had to take a sweatshirt off. It is uh, 53 degrees, so it's kind of nice to get out stretch legs for a little bit. And, you know, feel some heat and let the truck unthaw, let the joints unthaw. So, we, uh, we pulled into this pilot and, uh, Kind of a goofy setup. That country driver pulling out of here low because it's it's a nice little hill that we're coming up. The guy next to me that I well, the guy that I pulled into and I didn't realize it. He parked like a complete jackass. So it is what it is, I guess. Uh, so I start, you know, some guys don't use low, it's a 13 speed in here, and uh, if I'm on a hill like that, I'm, I'm loaded down, I'll use low. It's so much easier than cranking on, cranking on the clutch in first gear, and you get that hop in, you just wear the clutch out while you're doing it. Swift back it in right here. Give him a minute. Looks like you got it. So far, it's been pretty good. Nice day to cruise. The uh, sun's out. That is nice and warm. A little windy. You know, it's kind of kicking me around a little bit when I come through the opening and stuff, but you know, we can do about that. Oh, man. I didn't see that when I came in here. Looks like we can't turn left, and that's the way we got to go. Looks like we're going to the right. This guy's just in the middle of the road. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Uh, yeah, steer tires are turning. Looks like he's figuring it out. I'm not sure why he's in the middle of the driveway, making it hard for people to even get in. Uh, that's a pilot that we're in in Corbin. 
Uh, exit 29 off of uh, I-75. Uh, never been there before. Uh, kind of would have been nice to know. I think that other truck that you seen as we were pulling out, he was coming out of there. I think that's probably the way to go because he was able to do a left-hand turn there. We're here now. So let's see what uh, let's see how we make this flip. We could maybe go down on that physical therapy there. Has ever been in any tight spots? Mark them down below. Comment below. Let me know. Maybe I've maybe I've been there too. I don't know. I've been to some of these. You know, back when I used to run vans and reefers and stuff. I didn't, some of them spots they want you to get into is a little, a little chaotic.
You know, and then they'll they'll argue, they'll complain. At the same time for driver, they'll complain that nobody's got a radio on. Well, when you sit there and act like a two-year-old on the radio, you think I want to sit there and listen to that when I'm dealing with this? You know, it's all be adults here. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna dump that axle too. See if we can't get a little bit more. This is just getting ridiculous. Nice and old, even that pilot. I'll tell you what. Disregard you get from a four wheeler. I don't think they realize how much room you actually need, or or uh, or even aware of what's going on around them. You know, geographical. What, what's going on? Do you want uphill? You're going downhill? We're going downhill. Are you, you know, same type of person that'll pop out, and come racing around you, hop in front of you, and get on the get on the brakes hard. They didn't realize that's their exit they need to take. That's, that's when people get killed. Truckers do the same shit too. See plenty of them pull that one off. Where's that truck stop? The pilot. Yeah, if you would have came out the other way. And that truck's going in there and there's signs at the front that says auto entrance, trucks next exit, trucks second, second, uh, second road. Yeah, you would come right out at that light. So keep that in mind if you're at the, uh, plan on going to the pilot here in Corbin, Kentucky on 75, exit 29, I believe it was. That pilot's a little tricky to get out of. Goofy parking too, but now we know.
I so wish this thing had a had dual exhaust on it. All that emission stuff on it, it's relatively pretty quiet. Who doesn't like the rumble of a 15 liter?
slowing down. People are having trouble even staying on their lanes. So. Uh, GPS doesn't show it's here. What do the signs say? Didn't even have a. St it's not even out on the street.
So make sure you get set up good for your back. Uh, good tip for when you're back and um, it's gonna take your trailer 10 feet, about 10 feet to react before anything happens. So kind of keep that in mind. Once you start turning, it's gonna be 10 feet before that trailer does anything. Thanks, man. Guys, well, we're gonna hang out here till the sun goes down, and we'll get at you then. 
All right, guys, well, it's been about 20 minutes. Um, I took the time, popped the hood, and uh, took our little, we got the airline hooked up to our seat in the cab here, but we took our um, cabin filter out and uh, knocked all the dust out of that and sprayed it down with the air quick, put her back in, checked all the fluids, everything's looking good, sun's pretty much down. Amazing how fast it goes in 20 minutes. Um, so let's get on out of here. I didn't even go inside. So We're going to try this new Monster Watermelon. Let's see what that's all about. sense of blocking if some guy's going to come in here and want to park and here I am in his way.
deal with out here. Uh, once we're good to go, let's keep on rolling and see if we can get through some of this traffic. It's only uh, it's 6 o'clock, I don't know. I don't know why it's so backed up. 6 o'clock on a Saturday night. BFE Georgia, we're in. Just got into Georgia a little bit ago. So, let's, uh, let's try to push through this crap. A little spur, a little we're cutting down, we're cutting off, and this is gonna hook up with 24. We're gonna get on a 24 going westbound, and we found a Loves, which is about 20 miles from our delivery spot. So that's where we're gonna hang out for our 34. That way, if we got to use facilities or anything like that, we uh, will be set. Just figured you maybe enjoy coming through these little, these little downtown areas. It'd be nice.
eyes and our low beams are standard standard bulbs man you can barely see anything out of these um, they were so dim and they were so yellow after a while your eyes kind of adjusted to it but if anything's laying in the roadway there was no chance you were going to see it and near enough time to get out of the way without doing some crazy stuff went ahead and put these in and these are a lot better uh, they aggravate some drivers sometimes but they're not crazy bright I've seen some of these some of these guys got some gnarly bright
going to be whether or not the parking spots here. The Welcome Center was just blasting the trucks. That was uh, a little ways back, so I'm hoping there's room. We are spending 10 hours tonight and all day tomorrow here. Let's see. Pretty full though, which is surprising for a weekend. There's quite a bit of trucks here, but I think I see some bunch of spots we can get into. So I better pay attention to what I'm doing. Stop tickling gears.
part about Soxwell spread axles is they don't like to turn that. They don't like to turn that well. They don't like to turn that sharp. You crank on the tires when you do, and you know you tear tires up and all kinds of crap. And they don't want to pivot. And then when they do pivot, sometimes it's hard to get them to come back as, as, as fast as you want them to. But, Look at that, who says a flat better can't back up? Straight up lying to you. And we're here. All right guys, I'm gonna do my uh, walk around and that'll be it, we're here for 34.